Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 21 before going ahead with part 22. So now that we solved a few problems, I hope it is clear to you now that how do we apply Bayek's Seward's law and how do we calculate magnetic field produced by a current carrying conductor. So now it is time to introduce Ampere circuital law. So what is Ampere circuital law? Ampere circuital law is a law in magnetism which is equivalent to the Gauss's law of electrostatics. Like how we had in electrostatics, right? Uh, that uh, we will consider uh, some Gaussian surface that will considering that Gaussian surface will make our calculation easy, right? To calculate electric field at some point, we will assume some Gaussian surface and that will make things easier for us. Similarly, in case of Ampere circuit law, we will assume something called Amperian loop. And then we will apply the Ampere circuit law and our things will become simpler. So let us look at what is Ampere circuit law. Ampere circuit law states that the line integral of magnetic field of a closed coil is equal to mu naught times the current passing throughout. That means if we have a closed coil somewhat like this through which some I current is flowing, that means the line integral of magnetic field through this that is integration of B dot dL will be equal to mu naught times the total current flowing through this wire. Right. So what it considers, it considers that let us consider this boundary to be made up of small elements dl. So it assumes that this law assumes that it is made up of such small elements say dl. So what would be the total magnetic field throughout this entire coil? It would be nothing but b dot dl integration over the closed loop. So this integration of B dot dn is equal to mu naught times the current flowing through this coil. So now this Ampere's law is equivalent to what is Gauss law. Like how I told you that bayard sabert law is equivalent to Coulomb's law. Similarly Gauss law is equivalent to Ampere's law. Like how I mean for, by using Coulomb's law also you can calculate the electric field or the electric force at any point, right? Similarly, using bayard severt law, we can calculate the magnetic field at any point due to a current carrying conductor of any shape. But if you apply Ampere's law, that makes your calculations easier. So that is the only advantage of the Ampere circuit law, that you can assume an Amperean loop and as soon as you assume an Amperean loop, your Ampere's law becomes true. That is, this becomes true for any Amperean loop, that is integration of B dot dl over a closed loop is equal to mu naught i. So by assuming an Amperian loop, you just make your calculations easier. Right? So now we will try to prove the Ampere circuit law that the law which I told you in the previous slide is true or not. So first in the first scenario, what I do, I consider a regular coil. Suppose I am considering a coil like this which carries some current. Let us suppose this is a current carrying conductor. It carries some current I. Now I have drawn an Amperian loop like this. I have drawn this Amperian loop surrounding this conductor and I say that the radius of this Amperian loop is R. Right? So now we assume a small element on this Amperian loop dn. Let us say I assume this small element of radius dn. So now we will try to calculate integration of b dot dl. What is b dot dl? It is nothing but a dot b is ab cos theta. So b dot dl is b dl cos theta where what is theta? Theta is the angle which the small length element meets with the magnetic field. Now in this case if you see this is the infinite long conductor carrying current. So the magnetic field will be around the conductor so that means at this point the magnetic field as well as dl both are along the same direction. So theta is equal to 0 degree right. So you can write b is 
into integration of dl. Now dl will be integrated from 0 to 2 pi r where 2 pi r is the circumference of this circle. So this becomes v into 2 pi r. Now what is v? V in case of a current carrying conductor this V is nothing but mu naught i by 2 pi r this into 2 pi r. So this 2 pi r and 2 pi r will get cancelled so you get mu naught i. Therefore integration of D dot dl over a closed surface is equal to mu naught i. So this proves your Ampere's circuital law. Now even if instead of the coil being regular, if you have an irregular coil, what do I mean by irregular coil? It means that if you have a coil of any arbitrary shape, what happens in that case? In that case also if you assume a small element, let us say DL1. So then the, rate, then the distance of this small element DL1 will be R1. Again, if you assume another element dl2, its distance will be r2 and so on. Because in this case, the radius will not be constant. Like here, since it was a circular loop, therefore your radius, radius r was constant. But in this case, it will not be so. Therefore, in this case, you will have, for, for each element, you will have a different radius and a different angle will be subtended at the center. Right? So, in this case, what will happen? In this, this case, you can write integration of V dot DL is equal to V1 DL1 plus V2 DL2 plus V3 DL3 and so on. Because for each length element, you will have different values of magnetic field because you will have different values of R1. So, if the R is different, your magnetic field will be different. So, this will become mu naught I by 2 pi R1 into DL1 plus mu naught I by 2 pi R2 into DL2 and so on. So, this can be written as, so let me continue it here. So, this can be written as mu naught I by 2 pi into DL1 by R1 plus DL2 by R2 plus so on. Now what is DL by R1? DL by R1 is nothing but DL is the arc length and R is the radius. So this can be written as D theta 1 plus D theta 2 plus so on. So the sum of D theta 1, D theta 2, D theta 3, this is D theta right? The angles which they subtend at the center. So the sum of all the angles which all of these elements will subtend at the center will be equal to 2 pi. So this will be equal to 2 pi. Right? So this is mu naught by 2 pi. This is also mu naught i by 2 pi. So 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled. So this is equal to mu naught i. Therefore here also integration of v dot dl is equal to mu naught i. So whether the coil is a regular circular coil or it is an, a circular coil of any arbitrary shape, the ampere circuital law holds true for all of them. Right? So ampere in ampere circuital law, what you basically do, you just choose one amperian loop. Once you choose the amperian loop, that means inside that loop, integration of V dot dl will be equal to mu naught i, where i is the current flowing through that amperian loop. Right? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.